Hi guys, welcome to WebSense Pro. So, I have created a new playlist for you guys in which you will learn the basics of Elementor. So, if you are the person who is struggling on uh, YouTube or Google and you're trying to find basic level Elementor tutorials, this channel and this video is for you because I'm going to create a new playlist where you will learn all the basics of Elementor and my co-host Neda Sheikh will walk you through step by step on how you can implement the basic features in Elementor, which is a WordPress plugin. So if you want to learn, stick to the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. In this video, Nida Sheikh will teach you guys how you can add spacer and divider on your Elementor website. So without further ado, let's get into the screen. Hi guys, welcome back to WebSense Pro. I'm your co-host Neda Sheikh with another tutorial on Elementor. Today, I'll show you guys how to add a divider and spacer element. We'll learn how to add a horizontal and vertical divider as well as a spacer element in this video. First of all, we'll learn how to add a horizontal and a vertical divider. For this purpose, I'll add a three column structure first with the help of this plus sign you find as many structures as you want. You can choose the structure. For example, I'm choosing a three column structure. I'll add text in the first and the third column and a horizontal divider in between them. For this purpose, click this icon on the left side and drag text editor. A dummy text appear. Again, drag text editor. Now I'll be adding a horizontal divider. To add the divider from the left side, click this icon. You get a divider option, drag it. Now you guys can see that a horizontal divider is on the screen. You can change the horizontal divider to vertical divider with the help of the advanced setting mentioned in the left side. You can see a custom CSS option. Click this and type a code which I'll also mention in the description below this video. The code is selector bracket enter transform rotate it rotate it to 90 degree. Now you guys can see that the horizontal divider is now a vertical divider. You can also style your divider with the help of the style option. The gap between the divider can be increased or decreased. See, weight, color of the divider can be selected. For example, this. Then there are other options to style your divider. The width, width of the divider, you can increase or decrease. Alignment style, you can have a double dotted dashed curl curved, any type of divider you want. You can style your divider. And you can also change the position of the divider from default to absolute so that you can place it anywhere you want on the screen like this. I'll Change the width of the divider. Now you guys can see that the vertical divider is on the screen with the style we want. Now we will learn how to add space to an elementor. First of all, I'll remove the previous divider part. Now for spacer, we'll add a two column structure with the help of this plus sign, add a two column structure. I'll add images in both the columns for images from the left side. Click this icon and drag image. Again, drag image for the next column. The image can be inserted now. Now I'll choose an image randomly from the media library like this. Okay, again. I'll insert an image. The image is inserted. Now I'll show you guys how to add space. 
we can add space anywhere we want here upside downside in the center for a spacer click this icon from the left side and drag spacer like this for example I want space here we can also adjust space from the left side like this okay and again I'll show you how to add spacer I can add space here and adjust it from here like this this is how you can add divider and spacer in Elementor. If you want more such videos, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the like button.